Hello Year 3, hope you're all doing well. Uh, happy Wednesday and welcome to our third English lesson of the week. Today we're going to be doing about biographies. So on a success criteria here, we're going to, it says we're going to be able to know the difference between a biography and an autobiography. We're going to be able to identify the key features of a biography and we're going to understand why biographies are written. So to start off with, we're going to look at an example of a biography here. It's about Roald Dahl. Roald Dahl was born on the 13th of September 1916 in Llandaff, Wales. It's actually where I've just moved from. His parents were from Norway. He had an older sister called Astri, but in 1920 she died when she was only seven years old. Roald's father was so sad that he fell ill from pneumonia a few weeks later. He also died. His mother was a great storyteller and had a fabulous memory. Roald remembered many tales she told about trolls and other mythical Norwegian characters. Although Roald had a happy home life, he had an unhappy time at his school in Wales and was often caned for bad behaviour. His mother sent him to boarding school in Western Supermare. He was just nine years old when he arrived at St. Peter's School and met the all-powerful matron who disliked small boys very much indeed and the cane wielding headmaster. Well, that doesn't sound very positive and pleasant, does it? But this is an example of a biography. So based off what I've read here, do you think biographies are fi fiction or non-fiction? Now, I'll give you a chance to pause this and give you a chance to talk to yourself and have a think based off the text that I've just read. Fiction or non-fiction. Remember, fiction means that something is made up. Something is fictitious, it's made up. So if it's non-fiction, then it's real. It's fact, it's real life. So is this fiction or non-fiction? So hopefully you should have guessed that it is non-fiction. We have a look here. They are providing facts. When he was born. 13th of September 1916, he's saying exactly where, and they are giving facts. So that means what they're saying is real, is true. What do you think the difference is between a biography and an autobiography? So what I've just read then from the Roald Dahl piece, I would call that well, that is a biography. So if that's a biography, and I'm talking about Roald Dahl, from my perspective, what do you think an autobiography would be? So if someone else is writing about someone, that's a biography, what do you think an autobiography is? So an autobiography is when you have written it yourself so you, it is someone writing about themselves about their life events providing their facts another question for you to ask sorry another question for you to ask yourself is why would somebody write a biography or an autobiography if you want to pause this and give yourself some time to answer this question So, some of you might have guessed that someone might write a biography, so a biography is writing about someone else. So someone might write a biography because what they think is, they think that the other person that they're writing about is very interesting. They want to share their story. They have a particular interest in this person. So, again, with an autobiography, if you're writing about yourself, maybe you have your own story that you want to share from your perspective. We were talking about writing from perspectives uh, yesterday. And sorry, year three, I just had to think about that. That was Monday we were talking about perspectives. So yes, we were talking about uh, from writing from our own perspective. We were doing an autobiography, so writing about our own life events from how we see it. Why do you think people would do that? Some might say that they have that sh the, they have a story that they want to share. They want to share their story to everyone else. So that would be one reason. So we're going to look back at this Roald Dahl biography. And we're going to read and highlight the key information. 
to help us look at what parts really make a biography, what what contents really need to need to be included in a biography. So if you have, which should have been sent in your home learning packs, the roll dial PDF, if you're able to open that, I'll give you a chance to open it up now. And then we can start looking at this text and highlighting it. Let's see if actually I can highlight it. So I couldn't find the tool on there, so we're going to be doing it through the visualizer. So let's see if this works. There we go. Okay. So let's read through this. Roald Dahl was born on the 13th of September 1916 in Landa. So it's telling us where he was born. 13th of September. So when he was born. Also, it's got where he was born. Oh, yeah. His parents were from Norway. So we've also got key information here. We're talking about the parents and where they're from. He had an older sister called Astri. But in 1920, she died. So we've got a life event here when she was only seven years old. Rold's father, so he's talking about the father. You've got a key theme here. So in that first paragraph, they're talking about Roald Dahl's family, going through each family member with a little bit of information about them. So he fell ill from pneumonia. It's a key life event. That's a very, very sad life event. Um, and then a few weeks later, he also died. So we've got the key information that we're taking from here. So we've got each family member and then a little bit of information about them. So here we go. His, his mother was a great storyteller and had a fabulous memory. Rod remembered many tales she had told about trolls and other mythical Norwegian characters. Although Roald had a happy home life, he had an unhappy time at his school in Wales. So this is another key event, is our time in school. That's a key life event. So we can see here, it started from when he was born, and now we're working up to his time at school. He was often caned for bad behaviour, so we're talking about the type of personality they are as well. His mother sent him to a boarding school. There's another life event in Western Supermare. That's where it happened, where the life event happened. He was just nine years old when he arrived at St. Peter's School and met the all-powerful matron who disliked small boys very much indeed and the cane-wielding headmaster. So we'll just leave it there for now. But as you can see from this key information, it's gone from when he was born, when and where, and then talking about his family and little bits of information about his family. And then after that, it goes on to his school life. So it's moving chronologically. So in time, what happened next in his life? And then within that, it's got little life events within that important things that happened in his life. So send, his mother sending him to boarding school is another important thing. So having to think about that, if we go to back to here, let's look at the key features of a biography. It's written in the past tense. Let's have a look at this. Roald Dahl was born on the 30th of September. So that is another indication of it being written in the past tense. There's an example there. So it, biography should write in the past tense because it's something that has already happened. It's something factual. Chronological order, we've already talked about that. So we started off with when he was born and then it moves on for this these three paragraphs to up until his school life. Life events, we've got a few life events, quite a few sad life events as well. Um, talking about his sister, unfortunately dying, and his and his father. Um, but then we've got some nice things about his mother that said, and another life event is him being sent to boarding school when he was nine years old. So also, 
focus is on one person's life as well. So we are talking about the people surrounding Roald Dahl. And again, as we've said, because it's a biography or autobiography, they are non-fiction. So it's fact, not opinion. These are things that have actually happened. They're not just made up. So what I'd like to do from this is thinking about the book that we've read this week, write an extract from Leon's biography that concentrates on his trip to the place between. So the key facts I'd like you to answer there are who was with him? Where did he go? What did he see? And who did he meet? Now, to help you with this, I'm going to reread again the parts of the book that will help you answering these questions and writing it in the form of a biography. Now, remember, when you're writing it, we write in the past tense in chronological order. We use life events, important life events. So this would be important things that happened within the place between notable events. And then we focus on what happens surrounding Leon in the place between. So let's get this book up. Here he is, dropping into the place between. Inside the box was not a box. It was a world of doorways to somewhere else. Leon fell down, down, down until he tumbled onto a carpet. Hello, said a boy in blue pantaloon trousers. Where am I? asked Leon. This is the place between, said the boy. Between what? Between there and back again. This is the place where magic sends you. Will you show me? asked Leon. The boy smiled. Hold on tight. He gave the carpet a tug. With a swoop, off they flew. Everything that disappeared... Everything that disappeared by magic appeared in the place between. Cards and doves fluttered in the lantern light. Coins and rings spun past, flashed and were gone. Ropes, cups and balls danced in the perfume air. A magician's assist assistant stepped out of nowhere as another vanished in the blink of an eye. It was a world of astonishment, a world of the unexpected. It was alive with magic. The carpet came to rest. Do you live here? asked Leon, his eyes, eyes huge with wonder. No, said the boy, but my father is a great magician. He makes me disappear every night. If I had help, if I help him, he will teach me magic. Then Leon felt something soft wriggling behind him. A white rabbit climbed gently onto Leon's lap and nestled in his arms. The boy stroked her ears. She is always here, he said sadly. She was never called back. Leon hugged the lonely rabbit and gazed around the place between, enchanted and amazed. Suddenly, the boy began to float away. My father is calling, he said. It's time to go. Leon waved. Goodbye, he cried. I'll never forget. Then, from far away, he heard an echo of his own name. Leon, come back to us. Leon, return. Leon felt the magic lift him off the ground and back into darkness. So have a think about what we've seen in the place between. And I want you to write Leon's story as if it was, an, as if it was a biography. So you're writing about what has happened to him. What are the key parts of this story? What are the facts that you can explain? If there are any questions, then please give us a message on Seesaw and enjoy.